Welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at different. Um, so we're going to look. We're going to click on the custom blocks thing, and we're going to look at making your own block. So if we click make a block, we have all of these options. It might seem a little overwhelming, or everyone knows what I'm talking about already. So let's just create one that's called um, lesson. Yay, okay. So, now we have this. So, we have this weird define block and this lesson block. So, when it, when I click on this, you see that this flashes. So, basically, if I want it if I want this to happen, every time I click this click this, like let's say on flag does this. Sorry on flag does this, so every time you click flag, it will execute this. So look. So it just does that. So, um, that, so that's kind of nice, right? So then you can just like, make, make like, maybe if you have a really long thing, like a really complicated like death sequence or something that you need to call all the time, instead of just like duplicating all of these, then, um, you can just put one block in there and it does all of that. So now let's go through each individual thing. So first of all, this is just, um, this is just basic text for labeling stuff. Um, you can add as many text labels as you want. Um, next is a number input. So let's just say number. Oh, and let's just add another label. Um, and say like, n never mind. You don't need to do that. Okay, so now we have an, and you, there's no need to do this along with me. I'm just doing this to kind of teach how this works. So now you have this block with a number input, so you can type numbers into it. So you might you might realize that you could do something like this, like move number of steps. So now if we put number in there and I put like one, it will move one step. But if I put like this number in it, it's gone, sort of. Um, then like, so this is, it moves this many steps. So like, or like you could have it set a variable to number. So every time this is called, um, then it will set um, a number to zero, to, or like it could set like an like it would be the equivalent of this um, thing. So set my variable to variable. These are this and this are now the same block, although this one runs a tiny bit slower. Um, just because it has more lines of code to process and it's a custom block. Oops, I clicked make a list. Okay, so now you kind of see how that works. Let's go back in. Oh, and also you can type text into there so you can have it like say something or print something on the screen. Um, this is the next one. Um, if you click OK, um, you now have this um, this thing which um, you can put an if statement in it. Um, so you can say like, so um, if you put this in here, maybe you could say if this is true, so if the space key is pressed in this case, then it could move that number of steps. So so um, like if you press this, so like if we say um, repeat for, um, on flag repeat forever and then put this on here, every time you click space, it'll move 123 steps. But then you could also make this like four or three, um, something like that. Anyway, just something like that. Um, so now we can probably just delete this part. Um, so if we go back into editing it, um, the one other thing we can do is check this box. Um, if you're familiar with turbo mode, when you shift click the flag, um, it does cause some issues because it runs all of the code simultaneously, which can be an issue. But if you check run without screen refresh, 
it will do all of the code inside of it instantly. So, like, if I have, like, um, a bunch of things I need to add to a list and it happen and it takes a long time normally, I can just say, like, add these to a list um, under one block, and if I check that box, it will all happen instantly. Um, that's pretty much all that... Um, Scratch offers currently in custom blocks some things that people want to add is like a return value where you ha also have a custom output value but um, that's not something they offer since you can just use a variable for that um, but that's pretty much it